This week on launch, Microsoft wants you to run your Windows inside a browser. Huh? Easy branding assets because, well, you're bad at marketing. And a card game you can play with your coworkers? Wow, much culture. All that on this week's launch for accountants. Tell me if this has ever been you. That's really cool. What's your website? I'd love to learn more about what you do. My what? Your website. Yeah, I haven't updated. It's a whole thing. Yep. It's really embarrassing. You don't You don't have yep. a website. Oh, I do it. It's just. Your home on the web. This tiny little place on the internet that represents what you do, and it's embarrassing. These days, it's the first place people learn about you. It's Facebook stalking for your business. You want that first impression to be squeaky. Good kid. Bleep don't stink. We've got a new no-code tool here that's making waves in this space. It's called Type Dream. The idea is it's as simple to author content as Notion with all the visual control you get from a tool like Webflow. Better than Notion, you say? Let's watch. Mm. Rainbow text. Mm. Easy buttons. You are so fast. Okay, rockets, drag and drop. Not bad. What is that? Ooh, the nav bar. That's nice. I think this person's done this before. Get early access. I wonder if that actually like creates an account or something. Okay, different pages. The nav bar carried over. We're nesting pages, I don't know what that does. Publish. Seems pretty legit. They've got some templates and a showcase to get your wheels turning, but it kind of looks as simple as just pounding out some text blocks and selecting the format from a drop down on each one of those. So what is your excuse for that embarrassing website? You can take this one for a spin for free and put it on a custom domain at $12 a month. So make sure your business bleep don't stink and check this one out at typedream.com. I feel like we've been talking a lot about Microsoft lately. I don't know who I was looking around at, I'm all alone. Well, here's a big one, Windows 365. Not Office 365, Windows 365. It's Windows in your web browser. And that kind of takes a minute to get your head around. Microsoft announced this last week, and the more I've thought about it, the more I'm actually excited. The premise is you pay Microsoft a subscription for a Windows desktop. It's accessible from any browser and takes just a few minutes to set up. Now, technically, I'm not sure that there's anything here that hasn't already been possible with virtual desktops. You just access that with remote desktop or a Citrix hosted desktop, for example. But tell me, how much are you actually using virtual desktop? Probably not much because they're hard. And hard means hiring somebody. Hard means you're probably not gonna do it. But how could you use a browser-based desktop as a service? How about when you work with contractors? You've got a secure environment can set up a VPN in that browser desktop environment without putting anything on that contractor's computer. They log into the desktop in a browser and they're ready to go. Or a standalone desktop where you've got bots running. So Windows 365, it's gonna be available on August 2nd, and it seems smart. I mean, unless they find a way to... Time to play Choose a Vista. Well, what's going on? Well, Vista comes in six different versions and I, I don't know which to choose. I could spend a lot of money and get a version that has a lot of stuff I don't need, or spend too little and get stuck with one that doesn't do very much at all. Hmm, we might just have one version with all the stuff you need already. Well, that's boring. This is fun. Come on, big operating system, big operating system. Daddy needs an upgrade. Didn't you make this? I'm sure it'll be fine. What do you think? Drop a note in the comments. Is Windows in a browser helpful? I'm not sure. They haven't dropped a price for this one yet, but it did leak that there will be a version that's $30 a month, but they're already saying that there's going to be a big spectrum and different versions with different levels of hardware, but I'm sure it'll be good. And you know what? If not, it'll make it easier than ever to run Windows from a Mac. What's that? No. Microsoft's never gonna buy ads on our show. So more news to come on this one. Check out the initial announcement over at Microsoft.com. It's Airtable time. Lots of updates going into views right now, and they just dropped a couple more to keep that Airtable base spick and span. If you remember from my recent video on my five favorite Airtable updates of the year, link in the video description, they recently introduced view sections so you can group your views to keep them better organized. Now, 
You can also favorite your views. Check that out. Your faves pop right up to the top. Now those favorites are user specific. So if you're in a base with a bunch of other people, a bunch of views, good way to cut through the noise. And you can finally collapse the little create view section that takes up like half of your view real estate on the left hand side. Thanks Airtable dad. If you aren't using Airtable yet, first of all, if you aren't using Airtable, check out our membership community where we've got like five or six hours of Airtable training for accountants to get you up to speed. Great tool to start building automated workflows around. Have you ever played Cards Against Humanity? We noticed a $1,200 charge labeled Michael Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good time, but if you try to bring it into the workspace, let's just say you don't want to have to explain a snapping turtle biting. <laughs> and because that would be uncomfortable to say the least, they got a new version that's totally safe for work. It's called Cards Against Colleagues. If you aren't familiar with the format of the game, it's super simple. Basically, a black card is played with some sort of fill in the blank, and everyone has a hand of white cards with possible funny responses. Each person plays a card to fill in the blank, and whatever is the funniest, that person wins the hand. We'll just show you. Okay, you ready? Okay, black card. Now you need to pick two white cards here to fill in the two blanks on the black card. Patient presents with full frontal nudity, likely a result of the euphoric rush of strangling a drifter. Probably wait until the work version comes out. So, Cards Against Colleagues, hit the link in the description below to sign up for the first print run they're gonna do for these in a little bit. What's a nice way to say this? Accountants don't come to mind when we talk about someone who's, who's really bristling with creativity. Previously, launch. Come along. So this is you. And your job is to share that stuff that you know with your clients. Here's your client. Share these little knowledge nuggets. Don't stand between your customers and the mountain. Here's a tool that makes throwing together marketing assets super simple. It's called Baseline. And the premise is you can build on-brand content with a single click. And all you gotta do is load in your logo, your branding colors, and your brand fonts. Take a look at this, pretty cool. So they've got a bunch of templates and the templates pull in kind of the variables about your business, right? So your logo, your coloring, your fonts. So you write a little bit of copy, but otherwise you're just applying your branding to their designs. Here's an example. If we click Microsoft, it changes this design to Microsoft's colors, their logo, that sort of thing. IBM, Coca-Cola pretty handy. And when you think about having that across like a whole ton of different templates, that prospect of where to start with this Instagram post or podcast cover becomes much more simple, right? You can use all their goodies. You can pull in some of your own assets and you can even use it to manage like multiple brands. Sign up right now. They're even going to give you a free little brand guide. But what's it cost? 199 bucks right now for lifetime access it says there's 10 left there was 10 left a few days ago otherwise you're looking at probably either 12 or 36 bucks a month is it better than what you're gonna come up with from scratch almost certainly pretty cool so check this one out over at baseline.is square's got business bank accounts now who's surprised i'm not surprised seemed like the inevitable next step into square managing anything and everything for your retail business but the real question how does it stack up against the other small business neobanks that are out there? Let's take a look. No fees, check. Managing multiple accounts from an easy peasy mobile app, physical cards, you don't get points for that now. How else would you spend the money? Automatic savings for taxes, I like that one. And bill payments to your vendors. Okay, so no bill payments. So how should we feel about this? Here's how I feel. There are people out there who would benefit from being on the entire square stack of solutions. I'm not usually a one tool to rule them all guy, but for early stage retail, Square's got a pretty sweet tool set and more relevant to us, if you know that tool set in and out, you could be a tremendous advisor for those early stage businesses. Now, whether or not Square's banking makes sense probably depends on whether they need a bill pay solution. If they did, you'd need to run a companion bill pay app, something like Melio. Otherwise, just ditch the Square bank account altogether. 
put them on a relay, which will do both banking and bill pay on the cheap. Nevertheless, this will be an interesting one to follow. Is banking simply becoming a feature? So everyone will have their own bank soon. Bench did this recently. QuickBooks did this last year. Or will we just have vertical stacks like Square picking up banking? We'll see. To learn more about Square's business, banking, check that one out over at square.com. Thanks for stopping by. Hey, wait, I'm speaking at a virtual conference this week. Check out the link below for free access. And if you miss it, you can still get a recording. I'm teaching you how to build the bots that are supposed to be the death of the accounting profession. Not on my watch future. Here is a sneak preview of that talk if you wanna see a little more. Otherwise, I'll see you next week. Live audio conversations on Twitter, you say? Yes, sir, we've got tweet editing ready to go. Just need to hit the button. If there's one thing we've all been missing during COVID, it's just hanging out with your mates, man. You built up that Excel muscle. Now it's just a matter of building a workflow around it.